subscribe for tech talks and hit the bell icon to get notifications about coolest and latest engineering technology in the first place video we will study the uh, closed loop control of buck converter using output voltage so this is the typical uh, circuit diagram of an buck converter this is the input voltage uh, this is the switch it can be igpt or mosfet this is the diode inductor capacitor and this is the load so to start with we will first decide the specifications so in this uh, example we have taken this output power as 120 watt input voltage as uh, uh, 36 volt output voltage as 12 volt the switching frequency we have considered 20 kilowatt uh, sorry 20 kilohertz the current ripple is which is taken nearly 5 to 10 percent of output current we have taken it as 1 ampere and the voltage ripple which is nearly taken as 10% uh, of the output voltage so we have taken it as 1.2 volt in this part we will look into the waveforms of the uh, buck converter so this is the gate pulse uh, this is the inductor current this is the output current this is the current through the capacitor this is the output voltage and uh, this is the uh, current through the device so whenever you ap we apply get pulse whenever the switch is on uh, current flows in this direction that is uh, through the inductor and whenever the switch is off this current actually flows through the diode the same thing is over here that whenever the switch is on the inductor current rises and whenever the switch is off the inductor current falls however this ripple the current in this ripple which we have considered as one ampere that flows through the capacitor uh, now uh, this two uh, now the current output current that is uh, nearly constant now this is the current through the device so il minus ig so this part of the current so this actually flows through the diode So from here we can see that the mm, uh, by applying voltage uh, second balance in inductor the output can be found out by the output equal to duty cycle this is small d is duty cycle into V input the for the current ripple for each uh, turn on and turn off time period where Ts is the one switching cycle time period of one switching cycle is the uh, the rate of change of current is constant so i uh, from this formula we can find out l and uh, the voltage ripple that is from the charging and discharging of the capacitor that resides the voltage ripple now the ac part of the inductor current that flows through the capacitor so when we have found out the l so putting that one in this formula we can find out the c so all these have been uh, uh, done in a MATLAB program you can see over here that the output power is 120 watt V input and V output is 36 volt and 12 volt respectively switching frequency is 20 kilohertz so, so when we uh, uh, run this program we get the value of C as uh, 5.2 oh, microfarad the value of d that is the duty cycle it, it, it is in closed open loop that is 0 0.33 and value of l is 400 micro uh, micro henry and value of r it is 1.2 uh, ohm the same thing we have uh, written over here that is the input voltage is 36 volt the uh, inductor is uh, 400 uh, micro henry the capacitor is uh, 5.21 uh, microfarad and uh, the value of r is 1.2 uh, ohm uh, this is the open loop condition of the buck converter now for the closed loop condition we will uh, first uh, sense the output voltage for that we have taken a voltmeter over here voltage measurement and uh, this is the 
signal for that uh, we will be using to uh, see make the closed loop of the system so in this step we will see that uh, how the closed loop of this buck converter is done so from the output uh, we have taken the output voltage so that will be going through a sensor if sensor is not required we will take the sensor gain as one so this is the uh, voltage reference so we will subtract this this is the error that is generated so this error will be going through a pi controller well designed pi controller so that will be giving out a, a the duty cycles uh, that is required duty cycle function so with that duty cycle function we will generate the pwm and it will be again uh, firing the uh, uh, igbt or mosfet of the uh, buck converter for in this case it is igbt so this will create the gate pulse over here so so uh, the uh, open loop transfer function for this v output to the uh, duty cycle it is coming as v input 1 by 1 plus s l by r plus s square lc so from the earlier step in this step we will be uh, doing the closed loop uh, part of this uh, buck converter so the output voltage uh, input that is uh, taken out from here is uh, put here so this is the reference voltage so in the reference voltage we have taken that initially it will be 5 volt and uh, final value it will be uh, 10 volt and so it will be subtracted so it will be uh, subtracted from the uh, this uh, voltage and from here we will be take, uh, getting a pi controller and the pi controller will be compared the output of the pi controller will be compared with a uh, uh, short tooth whip the, uh, the time period of the short tooth whip is 20 kilohertz okay so you can see that it will vary from 0 to 1 and the time period when it will be 0 it will be at 0 second and when it will be 1 it will be at 1 by 20,000 uh, uh, second uh, so it will be compared and after comparison the gate pulse that will come out from here so, so this will be firing this uh, uh, IGBT so, uh, so what will be the uh, uh, value of this PI controller we will be finding out uh, uh, from the uh, transfer function that we have uh, discussed in the previous step so from here so the steps involved in this uh, finding out the pi value are is uh, presented here that uh, first uh, we have gone through the uh, specifications and then the calculation of rlc circuit rlc uh, and the open loop duty ratio then we have done the average modeling small signal modeling after that we have derived the uh, uh, plant transfer function which is shown over here we have not got in, in gone into the details of uh, small signal modeling and average modeling so after this uh, derivation of this uh, pi uh, of uh, transfer function the frequency analysis is done uh, for with the uh, bode plot of the open loop transfer function then with uh, proper selection of bandwidth and uh, phase margin so the design of the pi controller is done and the overall kpki value is obtained so all this has been uh, uh, done using a matlab command so the command is written over here so if we run this command so we will be getting the kpki value and also the bode plot that we can uh, have obtained so the kp value is uh, obtaining as 0 0.103 and ki value is uh, 720.1915 so we will be uh, putting this value in the uh, kp and ki of this part uh, that is 0 0.103 and uh, the ki value is 720.1915 okay now we will run this program and see if it is uh, working well or not okay so let's run this one
so it is running so this is the uh, reference voltage and this is the uh, output voltage so we will check uh, this one where it, it is, it is uh, tracking the reference voltage or not so we can see that uh, the uh, output voltage is uh, tracking the reference voltage beautifully and now let us just uh, change this uh, value now mm, uh, let us suppose uh, this uh, final value is 12 volt uh, initially we have considered that the output voltage will be 12 volt and let us again run this one let us see yes you can see that the reference voltage is uh, 12 volt and the output voltage is also uh, tracking this one okay uh, let us check once again uh, another thing that initially we will keep the voltage high let us consider it as 9 volt and the final voltage we will be keeping it low let us consider it as 5 volt so, run this program and see if it is tracking the voltage well or not yes here also it is tracking you can see this yellow line so this is the reference voltage and the blue this is the uh, uh, actual output voltage so it is tracking the uh, voltage beautifully uh, the uh, link of this program is in the description uh, below so uh, if you like this video do uh, like share and subscribe to our channel and uh, if you have any uh, comments or queries you can uh, write to us in the email that is provided in the description box uh, thank you and uh, meet you soon in the next video comment below about how you like this video Check out the links in the description box about more such videos. Do click the like button if you like the video. If you are new to this channel, subscribe TikToks and don't forget to hit the bell icon.